All right, guys. So now we're on to the next tutorial, and this one's gonna be the Sem World um, Bandit Dyro one, which is from the, which is a lead inspired, and I got it as close as I could possibly get it to to the Bally Bandits Welcome Dyro remix. So this one's gonna be an easy one as well. It just has a little key to it, and I'll tell you guys what's the secret to it, um, which is gonna be the reverb. So this is the way it sounds like. <laughs> So we're going to be utilizing an LFO and a reverb in order to get that going. Now, guys, before we get started, don't forget to like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash semworldmusic. Um, and you can also like my Evolution of Sound page, which is my samples label that I hope you guys can support. I do try to make a living out of this, what I do, what I love. And I try to support you, um, supply you guys with free stuff. But if you guys want to support um, one of the banks that you guys can purchase, then go for it. Um, the banks are seriously one of the best works I've done. And the difference between the tutorials and the banks, to be honest, is that the banks are a little bit more advanced stuff that I like to make and try to do. I've worked with a lot of artists before and developing their sounds for upcoming releases. So, you know, those sounds haven't been used by them yet, but I did release it. So make sure to get it as soon as you can so you guys can get those sounds out first before anyone else. So let's get to it. All right, guys, okay, so in Oscar A, we're going to have a saw and we're going to put 16 voices unison. So a saw should be there by default. What we're going to do is detune that at a value of 0 0.14 and we're going to blend it by 90. When you detune saws, when saws are not detuned, they come out straight like this together in unison. So when you detune them, you're, you start separating them. In essence, that gives you that kind of um, um, phasey effect. Um, so that's what we want from this. And we're going to blend it to 90. So you can see what blending does. It kind of changes, turns the saw into a detuned super saw, sort of. All right, so now once we have that, what we're going to do is just go to envelope, um, actually an LFO. So we didn't do an envelope for this one. Um, LFO 1 here. And what we're going to do is go into the folder and get a sine wave. Now, why a sine wave? Why not the triangle wave that's there by default? I believe the sine wave kind of imitates the movement that we're going to create right now a bit better than... Um, than a triangle because a triangle is just like it goes up to the max point and comes down while a, tr um, a sign gradually goes up to the highest point and then gradually goes down to the lowest point and so forth back and forth the center point of your sign which you can see here barely starting that's going to be your initial so that's where it initially is whatever you're modulating with the LFO so what we're going to do is we're going to put 164th we're going to smooth it out at 55.3 and we're going to route this here we're going to move it to the fine which is a fine focus knob for the pitch and what we're going to do is put it there and just kind of, um, oops, not that. We don't want to change that. Um, you want to kind of move the blue one to around there. So you kind of uh, want it there. So why don't we put that on the semitone one instead of the fine? The semitone one changes the pitch m more like drastically than the, the fine focus one. And the octave changes drastically. So we don't want to actually have like a wham, 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 wham type of sound. We want a sound that you can still hear the harmonics and everything, but we just want to give it that gritty effect that Dyro has. So like, so that, imagine the current. When you think of electricity, you think of current moving really fast. That's why you hear that noise, because it's moving so fast. So that's the same effect we're trying to do here, but with the saw instead, and we get that gritty effect. So that's one of the things we did there. And we put the BPM on, so it syncs up with our... Um, with our um, Ableton there, it's whichever BPM you have it at. All right, so now we're gonna put this in mono, legato on again, and some portamento at 11 o'clock. And finally, we go into the distortion, with this, which is the beautiful part of Serum. I love their effects. Um, props to Steve Duda for that. So distortion, we're gonna apply a tube, drive all the way up, mix all the way up, and we're gonna be done there. We're gonna put some chorus as well. Our dry and wet is gonna be set to at 30% or 10 o'clock around there. Low pass filter all the way up. Um, the chorus feed is going to be at 6%, so we don't really want that much feedback. Um, our death, 1.6 milliseconds, or the death of the chorus. And our rate is going to be semi-high at 116, just like our sine wave was. So it's kind of going in um, sync together. Our next thing is our compressor. We're going to put multi-band, and we're going to really let this out to negative 4.2 dB. And it's going to sound really loud. And um, pretty much that's going to be it there. Now we're going to put an EQ, a reverb. And our dry and wet is at 12 o'clock. Now, this is the key to making this sound because the reverb, the sound sounds really big, like it's inside a huge room. And for that reason, it's the reverb. 
Now, the key to that is that you don't want a really high decay time on it because um, if you do, it's just going to sound like drowned out. So we still want to keep the fierceness, so we want to put the decay time low. So we put the pre-delay down all the way, no low cut. We're going to add a little bit of dampness so it's not so high pitched. And we're going to apply a high cut as well at 15% to get rid of that highness. And we're going to put the width all the way up so it's fully stereo, and our size is going to be set to a value of 32%. So that this is pretty much the main portion of the sound. Without it, it's kind of lame sound watch. So you guys can see. So we're gonna leave that reverb on. Now we're gonna go to the final thing we do, and that's the EQ, the beautiful EQ. Okay, so our frequency set to 146, our quadrant set to 35%, and we're gonna boost by a value of 7.4 dB. What this is gonna do is just gonna boost that. Now what the quadrant does is it decides how much of an area you're covering. So the higher you go, the more fine it's gonna be, while the lower, the more area it's gonna cover. So just think of it as, you know, higher, it's like this, and then you can, that. Okay, and then um, for our right side, we have our frequency for the high frequency at 1821. We have a, a long quadrant at 5%, and we're gonna boost by 6.4 dB. Once we have that, we should be getting this sound. <laughs> very crazy sound so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um you guys can download this again at evilsounds.com don't forget to like my stuff and keep up with me and i'll see you guys for the next tutorial which is going to be the last one for today and i intend to get to the request all of most of them um hopefully by next week all right guys thanks for supporting and make sure to subscribe and on to the next one